Hi guys, I'm gonna do a review of my new Kindle that I just received today. I ordered it on Amazon and I'm excited because I like to read books. So if you do hear some background noises, it's actually my daughter here. She's playing on her new iPad. Say hello. hello. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna open it up. Uh, here it is, I just received it this afternoon. It's Kindle. Uh, Kindle 8th generation and it's like a basic glare free um, so you can read it in a high it's like even if it's sunny outside it's gonna be just like a book I'm gonna open it with one hand because my camera camera girl is sitting down playing on her new iPad okay so it's a nice box pretty cool all right. Okay, here it is. Nice packaging. This is the Kindle. Nicely wrapped. What does it have here? A little information card. A USB charger. Like a regular USB charger, mic for micro USB. It's like for the Samsung phones. That's what I have on my phone. This is what I charge my phone with, so I can charge the Kindle. All right. Let's power it on. feels so good in my hands, it's like very light and it's very thin, let's see, let's put a pencil next to it this is how it's about the same thickness as a maybe a little bit thicker than a pencil but nice Let's power it on. There's a power button here. Hold it. It says to power on. Oh, there you go. It's powering on. Okay, so it powered on. Very beautiful screen. Just It's just like looking at the book. English United Kingdom English United States feels very very nice to touch like when I just pressed it feels very nice let's click next I will show you how to download books for free how to do, get there's a bunch of different websites you can just download I will explain to you how to download books and you can just get the books free so it's doing its thin its thing very light like you picked it up it's like super light this Kindle has a Wi-Fi and like a basic browser and um, I mean it's just for reading like you can't read it at night you have to have a light it doesn't have a back backlight I bought it for $80 it was like Amazon special offers this says including special offers which means you will receive advertisement when you buy it a little bit cheaper with a special offers but there's a way to go around it I'll show you how to do it so get started select connect to Wi-Fi my Wi-Fi right here I'm gonna enter password okay connecting to Amazon
I don't know how long it's gonna take. This is my first Kindle. I actually read on my tablet, but there's so much glare when you're outside. Okay, then you can use an existing Amazon account or create a new one. But I am actually gonna transfer my books through the USB from my computer. I'm gonna download the books and transfer them over there because I don't want any I don't want to sign in and have all these offer offers of different books advertisement like on my screen. So I'll show you in the next step how to do it. Okay, so I logged in to my Amazon account, but I also skipped all those offers they offer me. And now it's like a little menu that says getting started. I love this screen. Totally awesome. So navigate your Kindle. I don't see a back button here. That's one thing I don't like. I don't see like a back button so you can go back. But anyway, let's click next. And it explains to you there's a home button. Oh, there you go. There's a back button right here on the top. So once I log, once I register everything, then I will have uh, all these buttons, home and back. Tap on home to find your library and discover new books. Back will retract your step. Two, quick action button that shows you. Tap in quick action, the airplane mode. So recent books, reading list, recommendations, whatever. It's all done, I'll figure it out. So, it's not easy to set up, okay, no thank you, I don't want to do the setup, I'll do it later. Alright, start a list of books you want to read, or you can upload the books. So if you want to upload books, you can actually email the books to yourself. There's a list, it says my library, I actually do have some books in my library. Yeah, I do have some books already. Let's see. I have this book, Clouds of Glory. I downloaded it from the internet. Download complete. Okay, this is the book that I have that I'm reading now. And it's in my Kindle. I already transferred it to my Amazon. But this is, and it opens on the page where I stop reading. Any device, let's say I have a tablet. I download the Kindle app and I was reading. I stopped in the middle of the book and when I open it here, it's also open on the same page where I start reading on my Apple my uh, Android device. So that's pretty cool. This is how you flip the page. Nice. Feels very nice. It shows you percentage of the battery, I think. This battery was not charged, so... I still have to play around with this, figure out how to do the brightness and... Gotta go into settings and figure it out. So yeah, that's my book. Trying to find, oh, there you go. So I hit on the bottom here, and something came up, like chapters. I wanna go to my main screen. All right guys, I'll show you next video how to download books. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you how to download books and how to transfer them to your Kindle email. Uh, when you are on their home, under this home screen, you have to find these three dots in the right corner. You click here. And then you have to click to your settings. So let's do that. So when you click under your settings, on the top it says my account. You have to click under my account now and then you will see all the way in the bottom, all the way in the bottom here, you will see your email, your uh, Kindle email. So when you click on your account 
and all the way in the bottom it says send to Kindle send documents to your Kindle using the email below so my email is covered by the pencil but that's my email write it down on a piece of paper and um, I'll show you right now next step how to transfer Mobi file extension because this is what Kindle accepts Mobi extensions so let's do that let's find a book all right, I'm gonna show you how to download the books like, if you don't want to pay for the books how to get them free let's just say I want to find sharp objects this book sharp objects by Jillian Flynn so I go to this website libgen.io now if it's going to be in Russian you can translate it on your browser you can hit on the right and you can translate it but this is already translated to English find sharp object search make sure you click over here this is not Russian books and there's all these different okay this is the author author Flynn Gillian and these are the file format a Kindle accepts Mobi, so you have to change this extension. Go under extension, click on the Mobi, Mobi, and now search. And this is the book, Julian Flynn, blah blah blah, Mobi. You just this, Julian Flynn. Okay, download it. So it's going to say open download. Or if it doesn't do anything, just click get. And there's a sharp object downloading. Sub sharp object already downloaded. Next step, what you do, you have to know where you download this and then go to your email account. All right, go to your email. Where my thumb is, you have to type in your Kindle email and then subject whatever you want I just type book let's see book number one on the bottom of course since you have if you, if you have a Gmail you can just attach where you download the file from and you will attach your book under downloads so there's a sharp object and you see it says Mobi file this is what we want open and send now go to your device home sometimes the book just appears right away or you just have to click on sync my kindle and here is the book sharp objects by Julian Flynn no, this is already Moby Let's click on that. Open. And there's a book, the whole book. That's how you read it. There's the whole book here. Click on home in the left right top corner. Go to other books. Let's say you want to add something else. Let's find something else. Okay, let's say from this bestseller list, I would like to download this book. Crazy Rich Asians, for example. Go to your lipgen.io, click paste, search. Make sure it says non Russian, and then file extension Mobi. Now, if you can't find this extension, click specifically extension and find. Find. Wait, no, not this one. Find Mobi. That's it. Search. Quan Cabin. Mobi. Let's say, who wrote this? Kevin Quan. This one was also by Kevin Quan. Sometimes the, title, the picture will look a little bit different. Crazy rich, uh, crazy rich Asians. And you click on this, click get. Download it here. Go to your email. 
compose a click your Kindle email here type your Kindle email here and on the bottom type attach the file where you download it from and send it to your Kindle okay put your uh, e send where you sending this to to your Kindle subject and here we're gonna attach the file and it's in my downloads it's in my downloads file is right here open and then just click send that's it I think I need subject there you go just send let's go to my device hit home sync there's the book it says crazy retrations that's how it is that's how easy it is to transfer movie and next step I'm actually gonna show you how to convert any other file let's say you want to find some book and you don't have the Mobi file so how to convert it and then send it to your email and then send it to to your uh, Kindle the next book I'm interested in is this the outsider outsider by Stephen King go to libgen.ios click paste all right search now it found all these books you can just click extension like non-russian click extension find it in Mobi but there's a lot of EPUB, EPUB, whatever different for, for file formats you can also go directly to Mobi file where is Mobi? Mobi file search and let's see the outsider right that's the one we're looking for I don't see the new one by the same author that I'm looking for so I can't find uh, this exact book in a Moby The Outsider written by Stephen King so what we're gonna do let's find extensions all extensions and then search see if we can find it Do -do -do. There you go, The Outsider, Devin King, but it says EPUB, it's not going to work, this is the book, I'm still going to download it, I'm going to show you what to do, click on download, click get, and it's downloading here, but this file EPUB is not going to work with Kindle, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, since you download this EPUB file, which is not going to work on, on uh, Kindle, you have to convert it. So you can click on Google search and type EPUB to Mobi, and I found this one is very helpful. Convertio.co. You click on that, and then what you do, click computer, whatever you download the file, look for it. This is the EPUB file. See, it says EPUB. Click open. And now what you do, it says to Mobi. It has to be to Mobi. And then click convert. And it's going to do the conversion. It's going to do this conversion. This is the website. Convertio.co. It's converting EPUB file to the correct file for Kindle and there's you can transfer once it's uh, converted you can click download 
and it's downloading like my computer says downloading here so it's downloaded mobi file already now what we do you can go back to your email gmail or whatever and you can send that file to your kindle email or there's another way to do that i'll show you right now we can uh, connect this uh, kindle directly to the computer through this cable I'll show you how to drop the file into your Kindle. It's so hard to record with one hand. So we're going to connect this cable. Now, this, this opened up Kindle E. Or you can go on my computer and it says Kindle. You can open Kindle. Go to your downloads, find this file where you download it. So Moby, copy, and just paste it to your documents. Paste it right here. Boom, and it's already there. So let's see. Let's see. Click home, and there is a book, The Outsider, Stephen King, it says new, and it's, let's see, home button, sometimes you will see the cover, sometimes not, but um, the book is there, The Outsider, Stephen King, when you convert it, sometimes you're not going to see the cover, but uh, the book is here. Stephen King, The Outsider, a novel, everything. Pretty cool. Yeah, the whole book is here. So this is how you transfer. You either send it to your email under the settings, find your email, send it there. I will provide you the link with all the websites. Libgen.io And that's where you find it. Type whatever you want to find. Just the one thing. If this website is in Russian, you can translate on this Google Chrome. There's a setting you can translate. And this is the you can just go to Google and type EPUB. Let's just say, let's go to, let's just say EPUB to Mobi. This is what you want. And I found this very, very cool. Convertio.co. Click on here and you can convert that file that you want and then download. Okay. Now, I when I bought this Kindle, I bought it with a special offers. So here's what it means. When it goes to sleep, when you hit the power button, there's going to be a bunch of advertisement from from uh, Amazon. It says, Prime members, blah, 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 enjoy books. There's going to be a bunch of offers. And I said, it really bothers you. There is a way to do it. You just don't register the device. But I, I already registered, so I have to go unregister it and I can show you how to do it you gotta go under the settings settings so then you go to the settings here under my account and then you have to um, deregister device deregister and then another thing you can do you can just reset it like you can just go under settings and reset device and this section where we all your downloads will transfer blah 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 so let's go to the, like the factory mode the way you actually you know first time open it this not register is not attached show you what's next 
Okay, so it restarted. Select English United States. Select next. This is if you don't want to see those special offers flashing when the Kindle is asleep. You gotta wait till it loads. Just you know, don't register account, and you can transfer it with through the cable, like I showed you before, and that's it. Download the book, transfer it, done. Okay, here we go. Click get started. But you do have to do the Wi Fi. Okay, once you connect to the Wi Fi. It's uh, doing something. There you go. Connecting to Amazon. So it's connecting right here. It's doing a little bit of uh, thinking. All right. Create new account. I don't create new account. Tap to select country, region, select your region, continue, set up later, hit on set up later, create Amazon account, just select set up later. Now you see my books are gone since I reset this device, but just take your cable plug it in plug it in and go back to your computer see it's nothing here in the file but I can do here I can paste the book that I just downloaded so paste and then this Stephen King the outsider appears here since I already downloaded it I already have it under my downloads I click my downloads, my documents, downloads, and I already have this book, Mobi file. I just copy. Went under my computer, Kindle, documents, and I just copy it here. And that's it. And this is what happens. The book is here. See? Right here, the outsider. I downloaded this in EPUB and I converted it to Mobi. That's why I don't have the cover here, like a nice cover. But if you do download these books in Mobi, it works perfectly fine. See? And let's try it out. Let's put it in a sleep mode. Put it in a sleep mode. There's no offers, nothing. It's just a nice screensaver. It says Kindle or something. You don't see any special offers. Sometimes you just don't want to see any special offers. And then when you click this button, it goes back to your book. Go back to your home. And that's how you do it. I will provide in the description everything, and you will see how to do it. Alright guys, so now you know how to work this thing how to download books how to transfer them to your kindle email or if you don't want to register you don't have to register you can just transfer your books when you download them to your folder you can just download them directly through the using the cable so it's pretty cool i'm going to read now and um, i'm going to put in the description down below the link to all the websites so good luck bye Thanks for watching Azaretto's channel.